today uh, is another alkaline earth metal. Uh, let me review with you where those are located. You remember yesterday we looked at calcium, and calcium was in this column, and it was quite reactive with water, right? And today we're going to look at magnesium. Now, I'd like to ask you if you could predict this for me. Do you expect magnesium to be more or less reactive than calcium? More. Less. 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 Uh, based on what? It's higher. Do you say this? Uh, well, which, what is the most reactive of the alkaline metals? Uh, the the Francium. Right. Cesium was the most reactive. So if it follows the same pattern, calcium should have been more reactive than magnesium. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Right. Okay. I, I, you know, I like what I hear. I'm hearing today. All right. So here's a here's a strips of magnesium. This is a little piece. We'll just tear a chunk off. Of it. It's okay. Notice I didn't handle the mag the calcium. So uh, that might give you a clue on on the reactivity. <clears throat> Handling calcium is dangerous. Magnesium not so bad. This is just pure water, right? We're gonna, we're gonna put a strip of magnesium in. Ready? Have I got the glasses on, right? Yes, I do. Yeah. Kapla. Oh. Do you see a violent reaction? No. Did you see the bubbles that we saw yesterday? No. Do you see the formation of a cloudy material? No. Very good. Magnesium is very slow to react with water. Very slow. Now, we can increase the rate of reaction by adding an acid. Now, an acid <coughs> reacts violently with magnesium. Shall we try it? Yeah. Oh, we okay. did that in bio. You're sure. Okay. Now we're going to also going to need to get a Bunsen burner ready and some. Uh, okay. So here's some six molar hydrochloric acid. I don't know that that'll mean a heck of a lot to you right now because we haven't talked about molarity, but it's uh, about half strength. <clears throat> okay. So I can go ahead and hold this up and put a few drops in, and all of a sudden. We'll see a reaction beginning. Uh, there's there's some bubbles going on there. Do you see them? Yes. Uh, there's a gas being released. I wonder what gas that might that be. Let's try and catch that gas. Okay. Can someone light the Bunsen burner right here? There's a striker. There's the burner. Fire it up. Just press it. No, other way. Other way. Okay. Good job. <laughs> you did a good job. On this. All right. I'm capturing the gas, and we're going to test to see if it's hydrogen. If it is indeed hydrogen, what should happen when I touch a burning split to the open end of the test tube? You expect an explosion? Yeah. In fact, you demand. <laughs> All right, let's see. Have you gathered enough hydrogen yet? How do you know? It's kind of hard to tell, actually, because <clears throat> you can't see it. It's invisible. It's very light. That's why I'm holding the inverted tube, right? Because it'll actually, the, the hydrogen goes straight to the ceiling. You've got to catch it on its way up. It's actually about, hmm, I, I guess about, I'm going to say 15 times lighter than air. So you can imagine how much that would pop right to the, to the top. Well, let's give it a go. Nope. Apparently nothing so far. Um, a little extra hydrochloric acid to use. Let's increase the rate of reaction by increasing the concentration. Oh, I see it. Now we, well, hydrogen's actually um, colorless. That's probably a little bit of uh, steam and so uh, that's condensing. Yes, that's right. Good call. All right, let's try it now. Yeah. <laughs> 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 that, was, that was the lamest explosion. And then, yeah, that sounded like a, a very bad whistle. All right. Let's give it a go. Let's, let's give it another try. Oh, my burning split is dead, gone. You're okay. Need another one. Travon, I have very explicit instructions for you. Go to the microwave. Wow. All right, let me capture this. Got to be quick amounts. Yeah, yeah, they're like little Pokemon. You have to throw your Pokemon. <laughs> Everyone's an expert on this. <laughs>
Pokemon. What's Pokemon got to do with this? Like you got to catch them. Got to catch them. All right. You're, you're talking a foreign language to me. Which is Pokemon? Yay! Yay! All right. Ah, you're happy, right? Okay. Uh, what do you do? People are tough to please. I gotta tell you. Cody, you remember, don't you? How the people booed you during that last experiment? I did a good job. I didn't get booed. It's a chump. I didn't make them. I know they were ready to boo. No, okay. I'm trying to get the water to stop dripping. Jay, stop playing with the water. It's not going to work. I've already tried. It, it needs to be fixed. All right, now I'm going to show you one other one other little thing about magnesium. Okay, I'm going to take a strip. Yeah. Now magnesium is a fireman's worst enemy. If there's a magnesium fire, everyone's going to be like, oh no, not a magnesium fire. Because they're very difficult to put out. Magnesium, once this gets on fire, is, is, it burns extremely hot and extremely brightly. And if you put, this is what's terrible about it, if you put water on a magnesium fire, it, it reacts with the magnesium and creates hydrogen gas. So you actually create an explosive gas by pouring water on it. So they have to use some other ways of extinguishing magnesium fires. So we're gonna retardant it. foams or something. I don't know. We're going to put water on it once we let it on No, 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 no. <laughs> but when it starts on fire, it burns incredibly brightly, like a thousand suns. <laughs> All right, perhaps a small exaggeration. It burns very brightly, though. So I have to tell you, don't stare at the flame or you'll see spots and it can damage your eyes if you stare at it. So you won't want to because it will hurt your eyes. Wait, what about if it's on a camera? It won't hurt the camera, don't worry about it. But uh, anyway, there it is. Behold, worship the sun. There it is. Okay, that's supposed to go right there. Okay. Just have water dropped on the bench. That is pretty cool. Hey, can I get some magnesium? Uh, that would be a. <laughs> <laughs> but strangely enough, it's interesting though that uh, magnesium alloys have, op have been used because it's very light and it's very strong to make ladders and bodies for like lawn mowers and things that are it, you know to benefit from light weight. They can hoist them around or push them. Yeah. So, if you have a garage fire and you've got a magnesium alloy ladder and it catches, it's, it's trouble. All right. So there's magnesium. So we saw calcium and we saw magnesium. Now, if we try to burn calcium, I don't know. There's, there's. Do you remember the calcium video we saw? They talked about the limelight. Yeah. That was actually calcium oxide. When they heat that, it burns extremely bright. And in the old time theaters, they had lime lights that would shine on the, you know, the actors and so forth. Occasionally, because it was so hot, those those lights would burst and so forth, and the whole place would burn. I mean, it was a very, um, <coughs> well, it was a fire hazard. So every now and again, you know, they had trouble with that sort of thing. So electricity is a much safer. Anyway, okay. So that's magnesium. It's one of the other alkali metals. All right, guys. If you want to put your glasses.